Well, hey everyone, Logan Sperm here, and my Explorer is down for the count right now. Uh, I drove it to work this morning, got there, shut it off, and then I went to use it again to do a few things at work, and it wouldn't do nothing. I got no power when I turned the key, but the battery's got plenty of charge in it. And I was screwing around and funking on some things, and I think my uh, solenoid died for it because I messed the solenoid a little bit and I could get it to get power inside but as soon as I turned the key it just went clunk and wouldn't turn it over so pretty sure the solenoid's dead so I'm gonna got a guy I work with gonna bring an extra one tomorrow and see if that fixes the problem but I'll get it going again but we're gonna have to get, make do with this and get the old bill from hell going Uh, I threw a battery in it and then I went in the house and got a camera. I haven't tried it yet, so let's see what happens. I took the battery out of the Explorer, I should say, and brought it home and so I can drive this tomorrow, I guess. Ugh. Ooh, Milky Ways. Ah, there we go. 228,000 miles get it in a spot where you can see it. Why is my brake light on? Well, I haven't moved this for a while, so... Oh, well, it's got brakes. For a while, what windows work? That one. gets up and goes pretty good. I don't know why the light's on, but it didn't look like it was that low either, but
that's always the first thing you do after a vehicle's been sitting forever. Just take it out and beat the hell out of it. Get the get the carbon out of it. And my brake light went off, so that's good. See, we're all fixed. my tail light in it, I got a tail light for it, I'll put that in and should be good to go. <sighs> well anyways I'll update when I get the Explorer going again.